So I made a mistake. And I'm going to go into details about the mistake in the hopes that you can learn from it and not make the same mistake I did. My name's Jim. I'm with CGC Sports Illustrated. This is an unboxing video. Here's, here's a little clue on my mistake. Five slabs, but I got two boxes. That's part of the problem. So, uh, you know the rules. I know what these issues are, but I don't know what the grades are. You get to see my uh, surprise, shock, joy, anger uh, when, I, when we look at these grades. So, uh, five slabs in this box. This has the potential, despite my mistake, and I'll talk about that here in a second, this has the potential to be a massive, massive freaking home run of a box. Huge, massive home run of a box. Let's get going here. So when you're, let's, let's, let's give some context into this mistake that I made. When you're submitting issues with CGC, I, I think what we're all looking to do is, you know, look, this hobby's not cheap uh, by any stretch of the imagine, uh, imagination. So we're all looking to, uh, Well, now I got another story to tell that I wasn't expecting. And that's a green label story. What did I just say? 60 seconds ago. This box has the uh, chance to be massive and huge and ginormous. Uh, uh, all right, there's a lot going on. Let's 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 talk about my mistake. So when you when 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 you submit issues to CGC for grading, you want to be as cost efficient as possible. So there are ways to do that. Um, for example, CGC will break up your uh, uh, submission into multiple submissions depending on the grading tier that you've submitted. And the biggest one that people run into is modern and vintage. So a lot of times my pressing customers will send me, you know, they'll send me five issues to press and two of them will be vintage and three of them will be modern. And they'll ask me to submit them under my CGC dealer account, which I do plenty of times. Um, that's two separate submissions. And where you're really getting stung on that is you're getting shipping and handling twice. So you're going to pay shipping and handling twice for that. When if you just submitted five issues, for either all modern or all vintage, it would you would have only paid shipping and handling once. Um, so that's one way. Uh, another way where you can save on shipping and handling is by submitting issues in groups of five. So if you submit... <clears throat> If you submit five issues, and I think the pricing is static as long as you're in the U.S. lower 48 states. If you submit five issues, your shipping is going to be $20 plus $5 shipping and handling. But if you submit six issues, it's going to bump you into the next tier. So keep that in mind. You always want to submit either 5, 10, 15, 20, and not like six or eight if you can avoid it because that's going to bump you into the next tier of shipping. So where I made this mistake, this is a slam magazine. And for about a year now, CGC's had something pretty cool. And they've been doing this with comics for a long time where you can get a custom label. You can get a, you know, for comics, you can get a Marvel label with Spider-Man on there, or Wolverine or that sort of stuff. Well, they've done this partnership with Slam where if you submit a Slam magazine, you can get a custom label on a Slam magazine. And I had a pretty cool LeBron cover that I wanted that was a Slam that I wanted submitted. I was like, you know what? I've never done a custom label before. I'm going to do this. Five slabs in this box. So I go through the whole process, submit it. Well, because I had a custom label, that created a whole nother submission. So that's why I have two boxes. So when I submitted these five issues, I have my one slam custom label, which is now going to have a completely separate submission with a completely additional shipping and handling. And now I've got my other one where again, I'm paying shipping and handling again. So if you ever want to do the slam custom labels, I would recommend waiting until you get several of them and then submitting them all at once. That's the way to do it. So that's the mistake I made. Keep in mind, slam custom labels are just like submitting multiple tiers like modern and vintage or that sort of thing. So something to keep in mind. Now, we're starting off like a disaster here with this stinking green label here on this Slam magazine. So it's going to be a custom green label? All right, let's see what we got here. I have no idea what's going on. I have no idea what's happening here. I 
I don't want to rip on CGC as often as I do. I really don't. I, li I, I want CGC to be better. I want them to be good. I want them to do the sort of things that us collectors want. I have conversations with them about that. I know a bunch of people that work at CGC. I have conversations with them. I want CGC to be better. But they're not. And they keep failing me again and again and again and again and again and again. And here's another perfect example. So I requested a custom label on this. Didn't get it. This is a 9.2. This is a green qualified label. So what a qualified label means, there's something wrong with this. Um, usually what you see qualified labels are when people send in autographed issues. CGC doesn't authenticate autographs. They treat the autograph as a defect. I've done lots of videos and talked a lot about that. I'm not going to go into it. Oh, there it is. Okay, so now let's check this. Let's check my packing slip. So what happened is, so and why I'm angry at CGC is while I requested the custom slam label, they couldn't give me that label because this is a qualified issue. And the reason is the poster is missing. Bummer. Understandable. That's the right thing to do, CGC. You did that correctly. What you didn't do correctly is credit me the extra money that I paid for the custom label. So I paid for a custom label, didn't get it because it's qualified, but they still charge me for the custom label. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like I'm almost giving up. I, I'm, I'm so sick and tired of ranting on CGC for not breaking out variants, for not doing, uh, you know, label uh, note requests like first cover and first pro cover and all that sort of stuff. And now they did the right thing on, on the qualified label. That's my fault. Poster's missing. I didn't realize that. That's the correct thing to do is give it a qualified label. But I paid for a slam custom label and they charged me for a slam custom label and I didn't get that. <clears throat> all right. So that is behind us. All the complaining is done, hopefully. <laughs> and what we're looking for forward are four bangers, absolute bangers, and, and three of them have a shot at very, very high grades. Make sure I get these right. Don't get them. I know what I'm looking at here. All right. Now, four bangers. Let's see what happens. Got a chance to absolutely crush it here. Just crush it. It's going to be fun. I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. That is a 4.0, but what you are looking at here is a newsstand copy of Larry Bird's first Sports Illustrated cover appearance. Uh, appearance. October 28th, 1977. There is one 9.6. There are two 9.4s. There are two 9.2s. I projected this at a 5.0. I missed it, obviously, to a full point on the low side. You know, once you start getting down there in the threes, fours, and fives, it's really tough to make grade projections because the, the issue is obviously kind of a mess. And this one certainly is, and it's got its problems, mostly a ton of staining and a whole bunch of other problems. But I get this one graded every single time in newsstand. I don't care what condition it's in. Um, so few of these exist. 41 total copies in the entire world of Larry Bird's rookie cover. So I love this issue. It's Larry Bird's first cover. He's wearing his Indiana State uniform. He's got the cheerleaders there. It's absolutely iconic. 4.0. Not going to hear me complain about that grade at all. Fair grade. It's got a lot of problems. And I absolutely love this issue and get every single copy graded that I can get my hands on because it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the grade is on that one. Uh, all right. Next up. Mmm. I, I, I knew this one. Yeah, I knew this one wasn't going to be, you know, competing for a 9.8. Still love this cover. This is the Mickey Mantle tribute issue. This came out on August 21st, 1995, right before Mickey Mantle passed. I think visually, it's one of the best looking Sports Illustrated covers you can find. I love the contrast of the red Sports Illustrated banner at the top with the black and white image of Mickey Mantle. I love the fact that there's no headline. There's nothing on there. Very reminiscent of the uh, Miracle on Ice 
uh, USA Hockey issue from 1980. Very rare for, for Sports Illustrated to put out an issue with absolutely no text, no headline, no nothing on there. And I think that's what makes this, along with that black and white to the red Sports Illustrated contrast, just a visually stunning issue. And I love, I've gotten this graded a ton of times and I love every single copy. There are 15 9.8s. There are 13 9.6s, 11 9.4s. I projected this at 9.4, came in at a 9.2. So I'll take it. Beautiful issue there of Mickey Mantle. <clears throat> okay. Next up. Come on, fingers crossed. What do I got? I got two, two left here. Mm. That is not what I was expecting. That is that, that that is a clean damn issue to be getting a 9.0. That's a harsh grade. That's one I'm gonna have to follow up on the grader notes. Love this cover, Jordan Showtime, May 21st, 1990. There's one 9.8. I'm proud to say I did press that. I don't own it. Pressed it for a customer, but I did press the single 9.8 that exists. There are four 9.6s. I do own one of those 9.6s. Five 9.4s. I projected this at a 9.4, so missed my projection pretty badly on that. Uh, I never want to let an opportunity to show some Michael Jordan highlights go by, so let's check out some Jordan highlights right here. Scotty Pippen with 15. Detroit will calm you down. They'll work their plays. Steal. He kept it in bounds. Here it is again. Oh! Yes! Oh! 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 But I've never seen this before from him. Well, you see, it was an excellent save. Now, when he gets it back, you'll see him elevate, do a 360, and just toss it. To the left. Michael double teamed on the drive. In for the left. Gets chased into the corner. Comes right back. Shut up! Instead of taking the easy one, he tries to make it hard. Jordan past Petrovic. Whoa! <laughs> oh, yes, 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 baby. By Petrovic. Up, up, up. No, no, no way. I don't care how good you put English on. <laughs> it doesn't work, guys. Try it. When you go to the Y tomorrow, try it. Five. Jordan putting moves on Russell. We're down to two, down to one. Here's Jordan. Yes! It is all over. The Chicago Bulls have won at the buzzer. Hugh Evans. He looks. He looks. He looks. He gives to Jordan. Jordan to the circle. Puts the shot in the air. Good! The game's over. And the Bulls have won. Jordan beat him at the buzzer with a jump shot in the circle. And Chicago has knocked off the Cavs 101. Love me some Jordan highlights. Don't love that 9.0 grade. Should be better than that. That uh, That's one that's going to take some investigation on and could potentially be a crack in press, uh, maybe just a misgrade on that. All right, last one. Let's get something good. Let's finish strong. Oh. <laughs> that's not strong. That That's a 6.5. In what world, in what world is this a 6.5? This is one of the cleanest copies of Raging Bull I've ever seen. In what world is this a 6.5? I, 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 I have no idea. There are no creases. <clears throat> There are no spine ticks that break color on either the front or the back. There is no staining. <clears throat> I am going to do... I've had a lot of requests that when I get issues that look like, um, I, I, you know, don't look right, like this one, like the, they've missed the grade on it or something's off on it, for me to check out the um, 
greater notes and explain that. I can't do that because I'm recording this video on my phone. I need my phone to be able to pull up the, you know, the QR code on the back and look at the greater notes and all that sort of stuff. But what I will do is I'll do a future video where I take a look at both this one and the Jordan Showtime issue, and I'll do a separate video where I do a kind of a deep dive uh, into greater notes. Uh, this box was kind of a bummer from the green qualified LeBron to uh, kind of missing the boat on both of these Jordans. Um, the mantle was okay. Larry Bird. Can't complain about a Larry Bird. Never going to hear me complain about a Larry Bird first cover, even at 4.0. So a lot of fun. Really appreciate you watching. Check me out on social media. Same username as here, CGC Sports Illustrated. Uh, my comic and magazine cleaning and pressing service. If that's something you're interested in, drop a comment, shoot me a DM on social media. We can talk and really appreciate you watching. Thanks so much.